what's going on guys welcome back to another video today I'm going to be making a review on the South Bend stage 2 endurance clutch that I'm running in the GTI right now so the clutch has been in the car for about 5,000 miles now it took me a while to make this video but it's been there for about 5,000 miles so I already went through the braking period which I think it's about a thousand for this car and the first thing that I can tell you when I first installed the clutch was the clutch pedal was definitely stiffer it felt like it took more effort to push the pedal in and the engagement point for the clutch was definitely lower than what it used to be when it was stock maybe about an inch to an inch and a half the first time that I drove the car I actually stalled like two times I couldn't get the hang of it but I got used to it right away so it wasn't a big problem for me but definitely something to keep in mind if you're thinking of getting an aftermarket clutch the clutch pedal is definitely going to feel different so just keep that in mind uh, one more thing that really concerned me before I ordered this clutch was uh, the clutch shattering or noise and it was definitely there it sounded kind of like a tractor and that was pretty much the only thing that I was concerned when I ordered this clutch I knew there was going to be some sound but I didn't know how loud it was going to be at first it was very noticeable especially on drive throughs or if you really listen to it when the car was idling but after the about a thousand miles it kind of went away but it's definitely something else to keep in mind if you're really concerned about any noises and stuff like that I would recommend maybe looking into a clutch that uses the stock flywheel off of the GTI that dual mass flywheel definitely helps with any shattering or any vibrations or anything like that with the clutch before I forget one more thing the shifter here definitely felt different after I got the clutch replaced it used to be way smoother and as soon as the clutch was replaced it felt like it took a little bit more effort to put the car in gear but honestly um, I didn't mind that at all I actually like it better because it actually feels like you're driving a manual car when you have a stock clutch it's so smooth that it almost feels like an automatic so definitely something to keep in mind as well this is going to feel just a little bit different but if you don't mind it, it's definitely worth it. To me, it doesn't really bother me at all. Overall, I think the performance of this clutch is really good. I will definitely recommend it. It holds the power very, very well. Before I replaced it, I was slipping through every gear. And as soon as I got it replaced, I could tell the differences right away. There's some differences from stock to this one, but it's something that you will definitely get used to. So if you're thinking about getting an aftermarket clutch, this is probably a good option for you if you don't mind about the shattering one thing that I will definitely advise you guys to do is make sure you do your research before you purchase the clutch there's different options out there and honestly I think the price is a little bit too high and there's definitely some cheaper clutches available for the GTI but it all comes down to your own preferences and the price range that you're looking at so make sure you do your research before spending fifteen hundred dollars and just make sure that you're going to be happy with the purchase overall like i said it's a really good clutch and it's going to serve its purpose very well and definitely help you deliver the power to the wheels all right guys that was it for today's video if you have any questions you can leave those in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them also don't forget to like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one